Kling AI, one of the best AI video generators, just released to the world so you can use it. But how good is it really? We're going to show you some amazing examples, compare it to other AI video generators like Runway, then show you how to sign up and use it for yourself for free. So let's begin. First, I want to show you some crazy examples that has been made by Kling. So here you see some werewolves running through the forest. Here you can see some sort of video game character that is going through a big portal. And just look at the craziness going through here. This next one is of a Chinese girl, it looks like, that is in the snow. You can see that it doesn't have much of warping and the quality is actually really, really good. Here you have sort of a centaur in slow motion, going through the mountains. This looks like Game of Thrones or something like that. Here you have more of a poster and artistic style that is warping through space, going into flames and things. Here you have more of a night elf creature drinking some water. And you can see kind of the adherence of the landscape in the background. You don't have so much warping. You can even see the weight of the body is really, really good. Here, another of the face, which is usually pretty hard to do for AI video generators. Another one, a little bit more scary, another Game of Thrones type character. This one is almost one of my favorites of an orc. You'll see here that he'll raise his hand on top of his head and wiping it across his face is really, really good. And then we have some more. Yeah, it seems like they were inspired a lot by video games and mythical creatures and battles and things. But this could be straight out of a movie, right? Now, obviously, this is what we got from kind of the trailer of Kling AI. And sometimes it's a little bit better when they show us these generations because these came out even before we could use it. And I'll show you how to use it in just a second. But I want to compare it to my favorite video generator that you can generate with right now, which is Runway ML Gen 3. Now, this was not generated by Runway itself. It's actually generated by multiple different people. And you can see that they have actually managed to get some of these creations themselves by using the platform. So you can see here, this is Crystal Ball here of Runway, a girl running through school. Here we have another crazy iteration of, it uh, looks like a bee or something going through the forest. Here we have some geometric cityscapes in neon lights. Here we have a water, which is incredibly hard to simulate if we were to use VFX. Here we have another one as well. This is maybe one of my favorites of, uh, seems like a Petri dish with some sort of bacteria that is multiplying rapidly. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Another one of a sunflower uh, field or something. Oh, the video generation is a little bit at uh, my internet speed. This one is almost exactly the same. And you can see that this is a second variation of the first one that we took a look at coming into the city. <laughs> it's just incredible. And again, these are all made by people actually using the software because Runway is out right now. So the question becomes, is Kling better than Runway in generating videos, right? So we have these examples here made by actual people. So you might be wondering how to get access. So I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, all you need to do is go to klingai.com. And this is where you Sales teams waste so much time setting appointments. Don't waste 15 minutes just to see if they're qualified with a bunch of no-shows, especially since AI can do it for you. Let me just show you how to set it up. Step number one, just go to salescloser.ai. When you sign up, they already made one for you that you can easily edit with a company name, even video call, phone call, language, adding your own knowledge base in here. But it doesn't work unless you go to step number two, make a sequence. As you can see, they have an introduction, then they discover their client needs and propose poses a follow-up, then they'll schedule the follow-up and close. But then, of course, step number three is we're going to go on a call. We'll launch the Zoom demo call. I can't show you the entire call because uh, this video is going to be too long. Hey, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you clearly. The purpose of this call is to understand your needs better and see how we can help with your media marketing. We'll go through what you might be looking for and find the best way to assist your business. Let's get started. What are the main challenges you're facing right now with your media marketing? I want to grow on social media. Got it. I understand you want to focus on growing your social media presence. To help you with that, we can 
and set up a call with a specialist from our team who focuses on social media marketing. They can offer you personalized advice and strategies. Does scheduling this sound good to you? Yeah, let's do it. I'm glad to hear you're interested. I will coordinate a call with one of our account executives who specializes in social media marketing. She's doing an amazing job as an appointment setter, but of course, step number four, get a salesperson to close them. I'm imagining a full future where you have a full sales team driven by AI closing sales for you. If you want to test it out for yourself, click in the link in the description to go to Sales Closer AI. Thanks to Sales Closer for sponsoring this section of the video. You might be wondering how to get access, so I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, all you need to do is go to klingai.com and this is where you can sign up for free. Previously, this was only available to Chinese people with Chinese SIM cards, but now anybody can get access. So all you need to do, email, password, and now you're on the inside. Here you can actually see a bunch of examples of people that have created these videos. And why this is important is because you can actually see the prompt that they used as well as if they used image to video, they actually added an image in there and you can actually clone this and try it yourself, meaning that you can just remix this same thing again. Now, how you actually get a video is just to click on this AI video tab in this side. And if you're wondering if it's free, you actually get 66 credits per day that you can use. Now, there are two available models. That is the text to video or image to video where you just have a prompt. So I'm gonna do a cat wearing an astronaut helmet close up with blue space in the background. Here we can apply the settings of creativity. This usually means that it doesn't adhere as much to the prompt and if relevant, it adheres more to the prompt. All five here. And this is one of the cons here with the software is that we don't have high quality mode yet. The previous example that I showed you of the model Chinese girl that was with the high quality model. So I bet it's a lot better if we would have that. Also, we can't get 10 seconds right now. So let's keep it at five. We can select the frame ratio here of horizontal, vertical and square. And then we have the camera movement. This is one of my favorite features inside video generators. I love the zoom and usually zoom in. So we'll go to the right, maybe put in a three here and we can also list negative prompts, like for example, blur, distortion and things like that. I'll keep it blank and generate. Now I've actually generated a bunch of different examples to show you everything that I got. Even with the image to video, this is very easy. Just do the exact same thing that we just did, but put an image in there first. I'll show you the astronaut cat at the end, but here you can see I have three different tests. These two videos has the same prompt, but I put an image first and the exact same, this two has the exact same prompt, but an image first and these ones as well. So I'll show you the first one, which is just text to video. And this prompt is Panda doing Kung Fu at the top of a mountain in Japan. <laughs> And you can kind of see him warping like a blob. You do see that it's a panda, but yeah, it's not very great. When I started with an image first, which was this image, it looks a lot better. This is a tiger doing Kung Fu at the top of a mountain in Japan. However, there is definitely some warping with the arm here. And this is where I don't like that. We don't have the highest quality model yet that allows us to do the best generation. But obviously this is a very hard prompt doing Kung Fu movement with the arms. The good things about it is if you look at the background and the movement of the building and the mountain and everything like that is very, very clean. Now for the next prompt that I did, this was an image that I put first with the prompt oversized orange cat lounging on a giant mushroom in a whimsical forest. You can see that the butterflies are flying around. There isn't much movement at all besides just the butterflies. You can even see that some of the butterflies are just popping into frame. It looks okay, but not great. When we go to the next one, that was the exact same prompt, but just text to video, you can see where it really shines here. I really like this, like an oversized uh, mushroom, the movement zooming in, the forest being almost perfect, perfect. And you can even see the mushroom here have incredible detail. Even the fur of the cat is looking really, really good. So if we had access to the highest quality model here, this would be a really good generation. Now, if we go to the next one, 
This is just text to video, a futuristic cityscape at night, complete with neon lights and flying cars. If you look at it from just this view here, it looks fine, but when we take a closer look, you'll see that the planes are like warping and stuff like that. You can even see the cars on the ground are kind of warping into each other and the buildings aren't really having the best time adhering to the set itself. But when we go from the image to video, you can see that this one is actually really, really cool. It's almost a perfect futuristic cityscape at night where you can see the buildings are really cool. One of the things that I don't particularly like is that the shine of the buildings are not really moving correctly, like it would be a little bit different. Also, the flying cars would be a lot faster, I think. I don't live in the future, so I'm not sure, but it should kind of move faster. So you now seen the three different examples that I did before this video, but what about the astronaut cat? Let's take a look. This was obviously text to video. Now we're gonna play. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this is very, very cute. Uh, if this was in space, I don't know, it looks like some sort of high school space background, but it definitely looks like a sir. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, this looks really cool to me. I would love for it to kind of fly in space, but what we got here is actually a really cool generation. Even the suit it has on and the shine in the helmet. For sure, this is better than Pika Labs. It's better than Stable Video Diffusion that I've tried and even Hyper. Most of the other video generation models are really good at image to video but this one seems to be doing really well from just text to video. And the fact that we can use it for free, so it's basically six videos that we can use on a daily basis is really beneficial. If you wanna try to generate some, I left a link to it in the description down below. I'm just happy we got access to it and we got some Sora competition and some runway competition because competition means better products for us. I rank AI tools on my AI Andy's tool belt where five stars is I use slash pay for Four. and Kling is definitely getting a five out of five stars if I wanna generate a video in a pinch. If you wanna get access to this list, go to the link in the description down below. Kling is sitting right next to Luma Dream Machine that is really good at image to video, but not great at all for text to video. So click the link in the description down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.